Kapow! Bang! Hey, what's going on, Google? My name is Mr. J93. Welcome back to uh, Transformers Kingdom View. Where today we're going to be taking a look at the newly released Warpath, which, which is why I did all that strange intro thing. Because Warpath, he's an onomatopoeic uh, Autobot. Uh, he likes to accent his blasts by, you know, making the pow, kabang. You know, shabang or whatever, all, all those, all those sounds, you know, when he's doing it. But yeah, basically, uh, here we have the warpath. Now it's a completely new package. I mean, as you can see, it is. You only see the just a small window. Now, obviously, I just you know, this could have just had a small package. But I guess they had to make the same package for like this from the warp of Cybertron line, but. More side trying you know trilogy packaging, so I guess that you really couldn't like have a package for this because as you see, Warpath kind of looks a little small, but uh, you can't really see most of the packaging because it's covered up by this awesome box art of Warpath as a tank. Now I've always wanted to get a Warpath figure because yeah, Warpath obviously it's colored red and also he's a really cool tank. My first my first tank was actually in like uh, it's like I think Hardhead. I mean he's a he Titan's Return. Night Master, something I did, yeah, so it's, it's a deluxe class, and, uh, yeah, apparently, uh, you're getting a car or something, else. I don't know, but I'll, I'll actually take a look at this, but, uh, yeah, basically, my back shows 26 steps, and basically, nice, a nice box, or, three rendering of, a Warpath, but, uh, yeah, it's all kablam, really good. I don't know why I keep doing this, but uh, yeah, it's for the content. But uh, yeah, it is nice art of you know the Kingdom line. You know, Optimus Prime, all Optimus Prime. I don't know what this is, but the, this I think it's a razor or something. I I could be very wrong, but there's Cheed. I believe that's Cheedor. That's Cheedor right here. But uh, yeah, you do have I think Leader One. I don't know if that's RC or a, I don't know. Somebody's gonna crack me, but. I don't know, it's, I think it's, yeah, it's RC, you know, you have Bumblebee, but this is not the C from the Netflix series, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this, so, uh, let, let's get this guy out here, see how cool he is. Kablam! Zing! Pow! And, uh, here we guys, here, guys, here, here we have the, war, the Kingdom War for Cybertron open up, and in his, uh, tank mode, and yes, I just ha actually had to do it, because, of uh, yeah, that's what Warpath is. And uh, yeah, that kind of also messed up the in uh, introduction to first, you know, into the into in this part of the video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, obviously before I actually get into this, uh, I would actually like to show you the actual packaging. Now, this is actually really cool. I mean, you are actually taking a look at a cool kingdom line from, it is a tease, I believe Earthrise, which actually ties in, because this is the final part of the trilogy. His Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy, but uh, yeah. Now, a little bonus part here is you actually have to be careful when you're actually, you know, taking your Warpath out, out of the box because not everything is actually stored here, actually stored in the box, as I showed you. This guy is tiny. I'll, I will actually show you this in robot mode, but this guy is actually tiny now, actually just showing you here. This guy can actually fit an inset, but like... Like that. This guy's tiny, which kind of makes a little less sense for the for the deluxe class. On this kind of it's like more deluxe than legend size, but this guy's kind of tiny. And I actually will show you show you guys this with a uh, with a uh, Earthrise. Nah, I think not Earthrise. The Siege line. I do have ship character out, uh, but uh, yeah, now. You are going to be seeing some parts that actually going to be stored back here, so check your packaging. I was about to actually complain that I did, that I did get a faulty packaging, but that's actually, that's not the case. So yeah, just be just be careful. Just actually take a look at packaging before you know you can man toss them out because you don't want to actually toss this out. Because you, you, the bottom part of the tank or the actual holds the tank together is actually stored back here. So yeah, you you, you got to be careful with it. I I will actually explain where it goes. But yeah, cool box, cool uh, inset art. Now this part here actually is a collection card. Now you just you know slide out. It's a uh, this collector card. It stores kind of like back in the back right here, 
but yeah, this is actually the king thing now. I believe it's a sticker card. I'm not sure I'm taking this off, but with Warpath, you come with Black Arachnia. It's a Predacon. Now, now, it's actually a peel away sticker. Now, if I can actually get this, yeah, it is a sticker. Is you get cool uh, art of Black Arachnia with, you know, apparently Black Arachnia is supposed to be a spider or something, but this. She kind of looks more like a scorpion because spiders don't really have claws. Well, at least from what I know. But yeah, she kind of looks like a scorpion. But uh, yeah, she got a nice Predacon thing. I'm not going to peel this off because I actually don't want to keep this thing layered. But it's cool, like, you know, for less than art. And uh, yeah, now I'm actually trying to keep this thing intact. I'm not going to be peeling this off. But uh, yeah, kind of no purpose. If you want to collect more, you actually do get more collector cards. I believe it's even from like Titan Return Line, which was the last time we actually had collector cards. And uh, yeah, that was like 2016 or something. I don't know. I don't know. I don't exactly remember when the Titan Return Line actually came out. But awesome to actually have a collector card. I'm actually going to be keeping this in the actual box up. Because I collect some stuff. So uh, yeah, now actually on the actual toy itself. Uh, well, I actually have a smooth, uh, table here. Now, trust me, this guy actually rolls very well. I, I'm actually going to try and actually bring my laptop in here for some, for some reason, because, yeah, it rolls. But, uh, yeah, don't, act, don't actually use your laptop for anything other than, you know, what it's supposed to be inside for. But, yeah, tantrums are actually molded in white. <clears throat> now, I believe this entire... Like his legs and his arms are actually in white plastic but painted over red. As you can see, stuff that's not painted is actually white. So, uh, yeah. And obviously, he does have wheels here. It actually has four wheels, but, uh, yeah. Again, it's for the transformation. Because you don't kind of, you also don't want to have these treads rolling him because the treads actually do separate. Because the part of it's for the arm and part of it's for the legs. But yeah, this is an accurate to the gene rep representation because you have to, like, the bulb is head and also yeah the tank that actually rotates like 360 degrees like that and uh yeah just like that turret goes up and down but also one thing instructions aren't entirely clear about what steps you actually need to do for this you actually need to pull the turret all the way out but try not to pull too hard because well i'll, I'll show you when i change this back into vehicle mode because the legs of this are actually kind of complicated i actually had a little bit of trouble you know doing it so uh, yeah, the thing I was talking about, you know, like the shield here, this part here is actually holding the front part of the tank together. If you don't have it, it's not actually going to work. So you actually need to have the shield there. Because this will actually form his arm shield or something. I don't, because, because in the box art, you do actually see Warpath having an arm shield. But uh, yeah, now, I don't know. Yeah, this apparently, you, you can kind of see color difference you can actually kind of see where it's actually painted red and actual red plastic because on my camera it's actually coming up like this is a lighter shade this like this here is a lighter shade of red than this is coming, coming across pink on my camera for some reason but yeah but uh, yeah also yeah apparently this is also painted I don't I don't think there's anything white here I mean you probably could have just you know this had these two the same, you know, mold of plastic, but I, I guess uh, it's warp hat. I mean, he, he actually do combine now. Actually, before I get into actual more detail, I just comparing with another thing just to actually show you how small it is. This is actually a this is Impactor. Now I actually never did a review of this guy, but uh, if you do have the Earthrise, like Netflix Earthrise. Uh, Factor it's effectively just the same transformation, but uh, yeah, this warpath is 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 smaller. Now, well, Impactor it was originally part of Records, I believe, but uh, yeah, I believe I don't believe warpath should be roughly around the same size as Impactor because well, they're both tanks and. I believe 
The packet of this and it looks like an M1 Abrams tank or something. I don't know. I believe. I, I don't know. Don't don't call me on that one. But a warpath is like he's supposed to be like a extremely mobile tank. Uh, basically meant for a quick assault. But basically it should be like a fast tank, whereas whereas Impactor is more like a yeah, like I said, A brand, more like for for a heavy like bombardment or heavy like strike, you know, it's just stand on a ridge and starts firing. But uh yeah. Now certain things, yes, like I said, instructions aren't really clear, that's the whole reason why I'm actually gonna be doing this. Now transformation is basically just straightforward here now basically what you're going to do well actually be careful because when you actually come around here you actually need to take out this part down here and of course obviously i don't have fingernails but uh yeah this is actually because but you don't kind of want like shake you want to shake it. you kind of want to pry this open it's basically pegged in here i don't know why i put it in so tightly but yeah that that just pops off that's actually the thing that comes in the well actually right here that's actually stored right here in the packaging, so uh, yeah, that's actually security tape. You don't want to have this loose thing, but I don't really see why it had to be loose. Because there's plenty of uh, negative space for as I just put this in there. But uh, yeah, but yeah, this is actually going to be his arm shield. Now, if you don't have it, you see this starting to open. The shield actually holds it in together. So yeah, kind of actually want to keep that there. And obviously, it is an arm peg, so a whole lot of a... Uh, I don't know if that's showing you in a little bit. But now to actually take this, you kinda wanna hold this, basically kinda separate the front of the tank. Like that. Go like that. Basically oh like that. Basically enough clearance to get the arms out. Arms out like that. And basically come around here to arm, basically take the back treads, basically you kinda it's kinda pegged in there, but you take it, fold the treads in like that. Do this, fold the chest like that, and and you basically just have the arms. You know, and you kind of want to get the arm that way because you don't want to any of these parts. So just set, set these arms off to the side, uh, come onto legs, basically unpack this, fold it down, and well, before you actually do, you kind of want to fold this for. As I mentioned, he actually has a nice Autobot logo, which apparently it doesn't have it anywhere on his actual robot mode because. You don't really need an Obalo when you warpath because once you actually see him, it's already too late. But uh, yeah, you take this, you kind of want to because fold this back, make sure it locks. Now take, come on the back. Now take this, you kind of want to latch it, latch it in because well, I already showed the thing. But yeah, now now this actually goes. There, there's actually a latch here. So, I kind of don't want to secure this too soon, which I stupidly did. But, when you actually secure the main part of the leg, so I'm not showing this clearly, but it's kind of hard to do because his legs are the, one of the most complicated part of the transmission. Kind of have this latch there, actually have this folded over. And basically, you need to have that these here, which I, I will discuss in a little bit, actually had to get it back safely without, you know, risking, you know, warping plastic. But yeah. Here you have Warpath left, left leg. Now take this, fold this forward, fold this down, unpack that, fold it down like that. Come on here. Now obviously you kind of want to, uh, you know, close that, but don't want to uh, push that in. Doing this right? Yeah, because. You see that goes into that slot right there. You kind of don't want to push that in until you actually have the heel, and you just want to like secure that once the heel is over that. And yeah, basically you saw the rotation because uh, yes, yeah, so rotation pad. Basically, you kind of want the heels to uh, you know, kind of be latched on or something. It kind of it secures it, but uh, yeah, you. Basically, there you have the legs, basically looking like G1. Now, obviously, you know, come on here. I'm not going to move the camera too much, but uh, yeah, you basically have that. Pull this up, and well, yeah, you got to take the head. And uh, yeah, basically, you take that, bring the head up, and yeah, you basically just do that, and you can just push the barrel in. Now, 
you just push in. I hope I'm not doing too much, but I've just shown it back here. This actually goes all the way in, but apparently you got to push up a little to make sure it doesn't... If, if it's not like that, have that barrel is actually going to flop out like that. It's going to be loose. What you need to do is actually push in, kind of, you know, fit around with it, kind of actually hinge it up. But, uh, yeah. <clears throat> basically, here we go. And you basically just take this part. Well, you got to fold this in. Fold that part in. This is another part that's difficult. When you fold that down, that's going to be... That's going to be like a flap or something. This, this is rest there. It's a flap. But, uh, yeah, just fold this up. Fold like that. And, well, finagle the arms. And basically finagle. I fiddle with this. Basically just do that. Stand them up. Basically when you're done, here you have Warpath in his, uh, cool, cool looking robot mode. Yeah, basically, uh, if you want to put the accessory here now. I don't knock the camera off while doing this. Well, obviously, metal doesn't actually do anything. There's no actual firing gimmick here, but this is actually accurate to what he looked in G1 cartoons. And if you do also the generation toy, yeah, you be, you can just you know imagine where it is. Now, this is actually a peg. Now I don't know what kind of weapons will actually fit in his hand, but he can't actually hold the shield. I believe. Nope. I don't know. But yeah, kind of hold the shield, kind of like boxing glove, but. It does actually fit here on his arm, so he can, he can actually have something, you know, to actually punch. Punch it, instead of Kong, go bang, bang, or bing, or boom, or whatever. I don't know what he says, but, uh, yeah, basically, you have that, so, let's say shield, so you can put it that. But, on the actual packaging, the box art itself actually has, well, you know, like, like that, like that, so yeah, you can actually have him sit like that, but there's a whole slew of pegs here, you got a hole here, oh, it's not a hole in the butt, but I, this is just a screw peg, you can't like plug it in there, why you would, but you could actually plug in it back, excuse me, but I actually like it here, but yeah, excuse me, you can have it like that, and if you want to, you can just, yeah, basically go like that, now, doing a size comparison, uh, bring in this buddy you have I believe yeah this is also deluxe class iron Knight. pretty sure this 90% sure this is deluxe class iron Knight. yeah this is a deluxe class iron Knight. now obviously I I know these two are both actually red I, I should have actually had some contrast here but uh, yeah iron Knight is a little is a lot taller than warpath now these two should be roughly the same height. Or, well, Ironhide has a, had a bit of bulk over uh, Warpath. But they should kind of be a little bit close. Maybe the tank should be a little bit bigger. Like, should be close in, like, body size or something. Nah, I don't know. Maybe some G1 fans are actually going to crack me on this. But Ironhide, uh... He shouldn't actually be towering over Warpath. But... Well, obviously Ironhide has more experience than Warpath, so he even thinks Warpath is a bit reckless. You know, you know, and Warpath starts thinking, go bang, and it just blows up in the door. Yeah, you, you know, but, uh, yeah, basically just, I really like Ironhide, obviously because they're red, and he's got a, got a really freaking big blaster, which, uh, Warpath would like, because anything that goes like boom, or bang, Warpath likes. So, uh, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, articulation-wise, you basically have the head on a ball joint all the way around. Actually, nice actually, nice face detailing here. Nah, they don't, like, knock my camera. But yeah, nice face detail. Oh, it's coming across pink. But, uh, I think it's one of my light and my camera picking up, like, pink and white stuff. But, yeah, arms, again, transformation obviously it was like that all, all the way around obviously it's a pin and swivel joint so it goes all the way around now that rotates here bends there there is wrist, wrist articulation so apparently there is waist articulation like that but it's kind of limited because you know also when it gets butt flap up so you don't actually like it's a little tight here because it's actually you want to keep this aligned 
because of transmission because yeah anything misalignment it's gonna be uh, you know hard on the transmission itself but yeah there is slight waste articulation like that but it rotates around again it rotates around six degrees again I just show you you're gonna actually need to do this to actually get this guy back into tank mode but yeah you do this do you have this product number just like there for any Hasbro guys that actually want to look at it but yes feet are actually like how it looks by ours in the G1 these will actually shrink a little but I guess you can't really do that in you know, toy form but uh, yeah basically bend bend at a knee so yeah you can actually kick like that I think you get in some like weird balance pose if you really want no, oh, more path can't balance. <laughs> yeah, can't do it out, but yeah, feet actually do articulate out like that. So yeah, if you do actually want to uh, have more path going like, <laughs> or just going like that, but uh, yeah, you could actually have more path. Uh, let me fix some things, but yeah. Why, but, hmm. You do have ankle tilt with there, but no actual foot tilt, but uh, I mean, tank treads. That's already terrifying about I me. Mean, you can kind of actually slide them down like that again, like to transformation. But uh, yeah, overall, this I actually like this because well, Warpath. I apparently the best I never received. Apparently they haven't actually released a Warpath in the any of the previous lines. Apparently they had some old Warpath, but it was an H tank. Which is a lot like the I think like hard hard heads, uh, tank mode, but uh, yeah. Now obviously getting the transmission itself. The first thing you want to do is actually remove this actual shield thing because this will actually like sit underneath the tank. But uh, yeah. Now obviously the first thing instructions actually tell you to do is obviously you know, pretty great up until you actually get their legs. Not very helpful. But yeah, you kind of want to fold the back treads up. Or I'm going to go like that. That basically, you know, I'm in the back part of that. I'll kind of leave it butt flap. Um, I don't like keep calling it a butt flap. But that it is. But uh, yeah. I'm going to straighten that out. Uh, you do actually have two things alternating. You kind of want to put that in between the two. So it kind of looks like that. It just sits there. Uh, because you want to shine out the arms, but yeah, that's pretty much just it. Uh, take this whole thing, like basically push, it kind of latches in like that. I don't know why shield thing move. But you kind of want to latch it in like that. There's a peg thing right on his waist. You kind of secure that. And you, if, I'm actually going to leave the head up, but well, actually, no, I'm not going to. I'm actually going to push. This actually show the transmission. Now, you should actually tell you how far to pull it out. If you do want to be able to move the turret up because you can't move like that, you gotta pull all the way out. So, until you actually see the, right, until you actually see the bottom part down here, because normally, oh, am I stressing anything? Nope. But uh, normally it just like that. You kind of want to uh, push it all the way out, or pull it all the way out, like that. So, yeah, just... You actually want to be able to see that thing at the bottom. So, uh, yeah. And basically fold the head back, and actually reveal, you know, the entry to the, you know, tarp portion of the tank. Yeah, they're doing stone playing on my house. But, uh, yeah. Basically, kind of get these arms out of the way. And, uh, yeah. Now these legs are actually what's complicated about this. I like to actually put them out like so. Because I'll explain a little bit, but yeah, when you open the heels, it will inevitably get your the feet to move. And basically just do that and basically just kind of fold this up like so. Oh kind of wanna do that because you want the actual legs to bend. You wanna unpeg that. And you kind of want this thing, oh, these arms that way, you kind of want the legs to bent out like that. So basically, you want to pop that up. Basically, there you have, <clears throat> excuse me, the main portion of this tank, 
or the front front tank. Do the same with the other side of the leg. Open like that. Do it like so, and like making make, make sure you have this open portion facing facing you know facing forward, actually facing you. Actually doing the tank part because that will actually help you a lot with instructions because it doesn't actually tell you. You actually have to look carefully, and yeah, the graphics aren't like, accurate. But yeah, take this. I don't want to unpack, hold actual leg because it's actually securing into the slot in there. Yeah, fold up, fold this up, like so. Basically, do that. You don't. You want to try to get these close, but not actually that close. But uh, kind of uh, move this up, move that up, move this up like so. Those arms, basically, that's the whole reason why you want to have bent so you can actually fit the arms in. Uh, I also forgot to do one thing. Now, before I actually bring the arms up, you actually need to uh, secure that and bring the butt flap. You need to bring the flap here. You actually want to push it through, but if you don't actually do it right, you're actually not going to be able to do this properly. So you want to have the thing latched. So you basically want to have this, you know, secured, and basically just fold this up. If it's not actually probably, you know, this is not probably latch. This will actually not go through like that. So you basically want to uh, go like so. Basically, want to do that and basically <clears throat> that, and you basically just do this, and you basically just do that and. You basically want to have that latch like that. Just film out that you don't actually want to pop up because it will actually attach, but it actually just fits back. I'm not actually going to show you that because it it's going to take a long, frustrating time to actually put it back in. I don't have the camera over doing this, but yeah, I need to do a tripod. Yeah, but yeah, you kind of want to put that in, and then it fits right in like that, like that. On the other side, you and you also want to kind of put these two. I don't want to break this, but yeah, kind of want to latch it in. Basically, do that, do that like so, and then you basically want to like close the actual tank part itself, the front part. And you basically want to go like that. Now, this is actually what I was talking about again in the beginning. It actually won't close if. If you actually lose this, so this is actually important to actually have. Basically, what you do is actually come around here. Now, there are actually four peg holes that I go incorporate with the four slots. So, one, two, three, four. So, four here. So, uh, yeah, basically, what I do first, I mean, you're kind of uh, and angling it that. So, you kind of want to have these two in, and you kind of want to push in it. Well, apparently, that actually works. A lot better when I was doing when I was not recording. But yeah, if, if it aligns properly, it should just slide it effortlessly. And then basically, when you're done, here you have Warpath uh, back in his uh, tank tank mode. Now, do I like this thing? Well, yes, I do. I do. I do actually like you know transform tanks because well, cool. And basically, I like the war base thing because clearly it says War of Cybertron. On the packaging, so mm. it actually makes sense to you know just have this now. At, uh, now, actually, when this is going to be uploading on a Wednesday, uh, the Kingdom Line is actually slowly starting to come out. Now, figures are slowly starting to come out on, on retail store shelves. Now, I actually did find this at a Walmart. Now, check your Check the local retail stores. You may have Target or some other wherever you actually do get your Transformer toys, because it may slowly be coming out. Because Kingdom, it's a very new line coming out early 2021, 2021, uh, slowly coming out. So you may have to wait depending on where you are in the United States or anywhere else in the world. I guess I think in in other parts, I think Europe, like a majority of the Kingdom line is already out because I believe Hasbro is a is a is a, is a European company, so uh, yeah, they kind of distribute that over there. I don't know if I'm right on this, but 
in America, uh, Kingdom Line is slowly coming out. I do, even if I have seen, you know, the core class, which is basically like Legends, it's going to Transformers. But yeah, you do. I'm actually not been getting any, you know, core class. Because this was actually what I've been waiting for for a long time. Because I like Warpath. Loud. It's, it just gets stuff done. Now, if you actually do want to pick this guy up, uh, it just got to run close, I believe. The same amount of price, same price as, you know, you, you know, like from the Earthrise uh, Deluxe class line, depending on, you know, cash you can't save because everyone in the U.S. has their own, you know, innovative pricing. But actually, where you are, uh, it's close to other Deluxe class. Is it worth it? Yes, for me. Because like I said, I love... Like Warpath is a great character to actually get, to actually add to your collection. Now, in terms of transformation, this guy may be a little a little difficult, but I did actually show you a trick on the actual legs itself. Now, yeah, if you don't pick this guy up, that's, that's actually how you do it. Now, will I be doing more Kingdom Lines? Maybe, depending on like what figures I actually do like. I'm actually not going to pick up all the Kingdom Lines. Kingdom figures are, because this is Kingdom mostly for the Beast Wars, for the Beast Machines uh, line. It's basically time for the Beast Beast Wars figures as you show. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not interested in Beast Wars because I'm more interested in, you know, the vehicles and not like, you know, cheetahs types. But yeah, if that's of interest to you, check your retail stores for availability. But yeah, thanks guys, that's wrap it up for my view. If you have enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. And yeah, thank you guys much for watching. And fly her pilots.